I'm Dave from Abco and my goal today is to make your job as easy as possible. What I'm going to go through with you today is how to operate and maintain the Shoreback Elite Silent Carpet Extractor. This machine is used for your larger areas of cleaning carpet and also it comes with the hose and wand and can also fit a upholstery tool for doing say your smaller areas and um, around under beds and even chairs and things like that. So this machine is electric. We've got our cable, it's a 10 amp power supply. So that's just a standard power point. It's got two tanks on it. So we've got our clean water tank. So we put all our clean water in here. We can also run a little bit of a chemical if you want to put some chemicals through there or you can pre-spray your chemical. Then we've got our now to, that's where you fill it up. Now if you have a look down here, if you ever want to empty your tank, this here is where you empty your clean water, just by moving this tap. Um, so then your, your um, dirty water tank is on the top here. So all your dirty water ends up inside the tank. To empty this tank is outside this hose, so this hose can be removed. We remove the cap and we empty out our dirty water. We always recommend when emptying out the dirty water, we always flush the tank out. So we remove this top cover, comb, it comes off. We pull this flange off here, which has got your filter. So this can be removed and, and cleaned out underneath a tap. So it's got a float here. And we want to clean out inside this tank. Now please note, this is our vacuum port, so we do not want any moisture or any water to go inside this port. This is where it goes to our vac motor, so if we get water in there, you will damage your vac motor. So you want to keep that covered up. Put some water in there to hose out. Um, this here is the ball float, which you can see the water lifts this float up and then blocks off this suction here when the uh, waters fall inside the tank. So we can keep that clean, keep inside there clean. So that's our waste water. Now you'll notice the machine has got, um, so it's very easy to manoeuvre. We've got our four wheels there, very easy to wheel around. We've got a brush underneath here. So there's a brush which um, agitates the carpet and, and cleans it. And then we've got our suction here to suck it up. So basically, um, this here is our vacuum. So we need to make sure we keep this clean so we can remove our back hose. We can remove this by pulling out this um, little knob here. And this here needs to be kept clean. So you can use either a butter knife or a scraper and we need to keep that clean. Because if that blocks up, that's gonna restrict how dry your floor, you can get your floor. Put our back hose back in. Now to run this machine, we'll just show you these switches here. We've got three switches. Now we've got um, our solution switch. So you've got two options here. We can run it on continuous flow. That's what you'd run it on if you're using your hose and wand. Or you've got spray with a lever. So if we turn that on, then we use this lever to, um, to put our water out. And then we've got our vacuum switch. That's our vacuum. And then we've got our brush. Now we've also got a circuit breaker here. So if the machine stops at any time, just check this before you check anything. And if this keeps tripping out, we can um, you ring ABCO and we can assist further. Okay, so the other thing I will point out is that to, for the control of water, this here will govern how much water. So we can see a plus and a minus sign there. So you know, anti-clockwise will increase the water supply, clockwise will decrease it. Um, so that there you can adjust how much water flow. Now with water, we do recommend just put cold water in. You can put warm water in, but nothing over 40 degrees. Because um, if it's too hot, this will impact the seals and O-rings in your pump. So just keep it at, just at, at room temperature water. Now to operate the machine, very basic, it's this machine that you walk behind. The first thing we recommend is to get the height adjustment for your brush. So that's this lever here. So as we can see, as we move this, 
this, this will lower the brush down. So we do recommend keep it in this position, especially overnight, so that you're not putting too much pressure on your brush. Uh, but when you come to use the machine, we turn our brush on, and then we, well, then we pull this out, and we just rotate it around, and you'll hear it start to hit. Now if I go one more notch, and the machine will literally start to move. Now that means I've got my setting right. So it just starts to pull the machine along. So now that I've got that, I can now lower my vacuum, which is on this hot lever here, go sideways, lower my vacuum. So I can turn my vacuum on and then hit my water supply. hose and wand, I'll just show you how to connect that up. So we've got our hose and our wand, so we remove our suction, our, um, suction hose, and then we can remove our pressure hose. So we've got our hose, we've just got to get the right ends, so we've got male and female ends, so we've got the male end here, we can just plug this in, plug in our vacuum hose, Then we do the same to our wand. So we've got our vacuum, and then our pressure line. Now we're all set to go. So as I mentioned earlier, then we come along and we put our solution on our continuous flow. Okay, so then, as we move this lever at the top here, Vacuum on. Very simple. As you can see, very easy machine to use. You'll see your solution coming up through this cone here. So if you don't see any water coming up here, you've got a blockage or you're not putting any water down. As you can see, very basic machine. Um, I don't think there's any, any further questions, please ring ABCO, but happy cleaning and enjoy it. Thank you.